Lately, we've heard a lot about supply chain issues, but there is one shortage that is really heartbreaking right now, gravestones. From the granite markers themselves to the stencils used to engrave the names of lost loved ones, some of them taken by the very same pandemic that's led to these shortages. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser explains. The communication was that they really couldn't tell and just hang tight and wait. Jennifer Hodge was already emotionally devastated by the recent loss of her father, but her grief has been compounded by what has become perhaps the cruelest supply chain shortage of all. No marker on her father's grave. The experience of grieving the loss of a parent has been greatly elongated. Um, you know, the number one question at the memorial service this weekend is where, you know, Where's the headstone? It's incomplete without the stone, so you don't you don't have closure. Tara Lakins operates Mona Lisa Monuments in Tampa. Headstones that once took four to six weeks to make might now take four to six months. There are shortages of granite and workers to deliver the stone. Same thing is happening in other industry, the supply chain. And even if they had enough granite, those in the industry say there are other supply chain issues as well. That's because there's a shortage of bronze nameplates, too. Even the rubber stencils used to custom carve the granite. So we're also waiting on stencils, the materials, to actually make the stone. Akins knows that unlike other items in short supply, a gravestone is far more personal. He assures families those in his industry are working as fast as they can. Some are understanding, others in their grief are less so, but they try not to take it personally, remaining compassionate, asking, for patients. It's compounded. You know, emotions are uh, emotions are high, very stressful, frustrating. And, uh, you know, it, it, no one has the answer right now. Atkins says eventually supplies of granite, stencils, and other items used to make gravestones will catch back up with demand, but he doesn't see that happening until maybe the middle of next year. And that's just one of many shortages that we are seeing right now. Toyota is one of the companies recently impacted. It had to pause production at two factories in Japan, which means they'll fall short on 3,500 vehicles. Over in Kentucky, they're dealing with a nursing shortage. It's gotten so bad that the governor signed an executive order this week declaring it an emergency. And several states are also warning a shortage of, a, a shortage of workers could mean that they won't have enough drivers to plow snow this winter.